what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's princess Lene, and i think it's time i literally wanted this to happen like i wanted to have contractions and stuff to be able to go to the hospital but like It's 1.49 and I'm having contractions. What am I supposed to do? Like, it's literally like the middle of the night. The people that are supposed to watch our daughter are probably asleep. I feel bad, like, I went to the bathroom, I had some blood when I wiped. I didn't really wipe much because I got some irritation or something going down on down there that is mm, so I was just dabbing but it was blood and I'm for sure that I'm feeling contractions and like I know what they are for real now I think I'm gonna um, call the hospital, see what they want me to do. I really don't know how to time them. It's really hard. Like, how do you know when they're in, like they've ended? Like, I also want to labor at home as long as I can, but we live like 40 minutes from the hospital. Yes, 40. I don't know. Like, obviously the contractions aren't that bad if I can. Like, when the next one comes, I'll, like, breathe through it. I'll show you guys that I can breathe through it. But, I don't know. Like, I want to call people. But not, like. I just want to kind of like try to get my mind off of it a little bit I don't know I'll come back when I'm having a contraction just so like y'all can see that I can breathe through it I had like three in the bed and then I just came out here and I just had one and now I'm going to I don't know if I should stand up or what but yeah labor and delivery this is Ashley um hello Ashley um I think I'm in labor but I'm not okay. quite, but I'm not quite sure what's going on today tell me about it okay so i started having some contractions at one like about 1 30 and okay. um i was trying to time them but i'm um it's a little hard okay um and then um i went to the bathroom and when i wiped there was some blood okay so are you feeling your baby move yes what baby is this for you second okay um how long was your labor last time i got induced okay um do you remember how long it was when it, from when they started the induction till you had your baby uh yes about 25 hours okay okay um so having a little bit of blood is normal um it, i would say your contractions weak time contractions from the beginning of one to the beginning of the next and um, probably in order to change your cervix, your contractions need to be two to three minutes apart um, mm -hmm. and be that way for a couple of hours. Okay. So um, blood can be from a couple of different things. It could be because, because of um, you've had sex in the last little bit or your cervix was checked. Um, and then it can be because of labor. Okay. Um, and, and that can be just because your cervix is, 
is changing, and that's a good thing. Um, so we admit people when they're between uh, like five to six centimeters, um, or if their water's broken. Um, so if I were you, I would try and get some rest right now because it sounds like it might be the start of, of having a baby. Um, and reasons we would want you to come in if your contractions get to be that two to three minutes apart from um, the beginning of one to the beginning of next. Mm -hmm. um, if you start having bright red vaginal bleeding that's soaking a pad an hour, then we would want to see you. Okay. Um, if your water breaks or if you stop feeling your baby move, then we would want to see you. Okay. Okay. Um, um, sorry, go ahead. I live, I live pretty far from the hospital, though, too. Um, where do you live at? Bomb holder. Okay, that's not that. That's not that bad. Um, okay. I I probably would still wait. I mean, you are welcome to come in anytime you want. Mm -hmm. Um, but but uh, if you weren't, if you're not five to six centimeters, we'd send you back home. Um, okay. But like I said, you're welcome to come anytime you want. But judging by um, what you're telling me, it sounds like um, it's kind of early. Okay. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Um, how how long ago was your last baby? Uh, she's 19 months. She's 19 months. Okay, so, yeah. cool. Um, then that, I, I think that sounds re reasonable. Um, you just give us a call back when, when you feel like you're ready to come in, okay? Okay. But maybe take a hot bath and try and, try and get some rest because, um, it's usually a long day to have a baby. Okay, thank you so okay. much. Okay? Yes. Yeah. I forgot to ask you one question. When's your due date? It was March 7th. March 7th. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll probably hear from you soon, I think. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Go get yes. some rest. Okay, I will. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yep. Bye. Um, poof. Be go. I don't know why that was in my head. Poof. Be go. Okay, so y'all heard what she said. It's early. She said, I need to go get some rest, so I'm going to go get in the bed, and then, like, if the contractions, like, wake me up, then I'm going to be, like, then I'm going to be, like, okay, baby, we got to go, but y'all, I'm kind of, like, giddy, kind of happy, because, like I said, my due date was March 7th, and then... It's March 14th, like, it don't matter though, like, regardless, I have an appointment today and I, um, I, I'm supposed to get induced today anyway, so whether these contractions keep on coming or I, um, get a deuce baby boy's coming today so we ready i'm finna go get in the bed give me a snack <laughs> so i'm getting ready right now it is um my phone is in here it's, it's almost eight o'clock i have an appointment at at nine we're about to leave. We're going to drop Paisley off because I'm pretty sure they're going to keep me. Um, just ready to get it popping, get it going, get it started. These contractions have been coming and coming and coming. So, it's time. I'm about to meet baby boy. We keep y'all updated. We're in the car. Um, we're dropping Paisley off right now. Luckily, we didn't have to drive too far to drop her off. I'm having a contraction. Woo! That'll do it. Oh shoot, that hurt. Oh, oh, oh y'all. When I tell you, oh my lordy. What they say, you don't get no reward for it going natural. I feel it all in my booty. 
Were you able to get it in? Get what in? Long store. Yeah. <sighs> she didn't cry. <sighs> What's happening? How you feeling? I feel good. Why are you? Why are you in a rush? Calm down. I'm not in a rush. These stairs. Calm down. I'm not. You just running, running, running. Do you need to call whoever that was back? No. Call him back whenever. All right, y'all. I just dropped Princess off at her appointment. Really, not an appointment. We're gonna see the admitter because she was having contractions at two thirty in the morning. Um. But tell you a little bit about this. Uh, we waited. We didn't leave at two thirty in the morning. Thank goodness. Uh, but we're here now. I'm not really scared because it's not my, you know, it's not my first rodeo. But it is something definitely, you know, different. So because we know we're in a new country and stuff. So hopefully when we get in there, he ready to go. She ready to get admitted, and you know we can go get settled and let baby boy come. Right now, I'm feeling good. I'll give you another update later.